This is the third Modern Drummer 40th Anniversary Snare. This is a 6x13 solid cherry with a uh, curly maple inlay, but the whole shell is cherry. Even the reinforcement rings are solid cherry. It has, uh, like the maple, it has 45 degree bearing edges with some round over on them. Uh, nice deep snare bed, so the wires sit in there nice and tight. Coated G1 batter, um, clear 300 series snare side. I'm sure it's on wires, trick throw off chrome over brass tube lugs. So it's all the same as the other drums. That was important for me to uh, offer three drums that were s similarly constructed, but just had different species and shell makeups to define the sound. That was the goal. Uh, this is an awesome drum. 13 inch drums, I think, um, maybe kind of falling out of favor at the moment, but they really are really special. They can do a lot of stuff. So this was, I was thinking, Steve Jordan, contemporary funk, fusion, R&B kind of sound, which I think of being a real kind of um, dense, crack, high pop, uh, but also with some potential to back it down to get kind of a more kind of thumpier sound that doesn't take up too much space in the mix. That was the goal. Um, so this drum I'm going to play with just some funky loops, do my best Steve Jordan impression. Um, start with a drum tuned as high as it'll go, and I'll just back it off, and you'll hear there's like a sweet spot in the upper mids. I think is really special, but then when you get it down in the, in the lower register, I think it also offers something uh, that I would use more for studio stuff, um, blues, that kind of playing. Cherry is a cool species because it kind of has some of the openness of maple, but the focused punch of birch. So it's kind of like a nice medium ground. So anyway, let's check it out. This is a 6x13 solid cherry modern drummer 40th anniversary drum. <laughs> Again, it's a Modern Drummer 40th Anniversary Solid Cherry 6x13. Uh, and by solid, I mean steam bent shell. Bruce Hagwood did it at RBH Drums. He put this nice curly maple inlay. It doesn't affect the sound. It's an aesthetic thing. It's, a, it's an all cherry drum. Um, pretty cool. So I think um, if you've kind of lost your interest in 13 inch drums, you might want to revisit them. I think they offer more uh, versatility than you might think. They're not just for the high tight thing. Um, I think there's a reason why Steve Jordan put his name on a snare drum and it was a 13-inch drum, and there's a reason why Benny Greb put his name on a drum and it's a 13-inch drum. They can kind of do everything you want, and without getting out of control, that's the big thing for me. I want a nice big sound, but I don't want it to just go crazy with a lot of overtone, um, and this seems to do that for me. All right, thanks for checking it out. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. See ya.